Hi guys, it's Manny here. So um, today I've decided I'm going to start off my film review video with uh, one of my favourite films, if not the, my favourite film of all time, which is the Errol Flynn Robin Hood film. Um, this for me was a film that I grew up on. It may have even been the very first film that I ever watched. I don't know why, but I seem to have a memory of it probably on a black and white screen, I don't know, but I remember the ending scene being the first thing that I can ever remember. I don't know whether it was on a black and white TV or something, but I watched it and I remember it being black and white for some reason, even though it is shot in Technicolor. Um, this film for me is extremely special because it is the film that got me in love with cinema. I wanted to become a filmmaker after I saw this film and I everything about it to me is perfection the costuming is beautiful the music is romantic and stunning and just genuinely amazing the actors were perfect the villains are horrible you love to hate them um, there's good scheming in it, there's good romance in it, there's good action in it, there's there's good heroism in it, and uh, it, you just can't sort of beat it as a film, personally. I mean, anyone who wants a good action film, this is a fantastic action film. Um, anyone who likes a good romance, this is a fantastic romance, you can't beat it. Um, anyone who likes good villains it's got some really good villainy it's campy but it is really good villainy um uh and the fact that errol flynn was willing to wear the the outfit in tights makes him unique because of the fact that every actor who's ever played robin hood has always said i don't ever want to wear tights i don't want to be that guy who wears tights but it's like the tights make Robin Hood Robin Hood. I mean, Kevin Costner's Robin Hood is good, but it's only good because of Alan Rickman, frankly. <laughs> I love that film, but I love it for Alan Rickman because his performance in it is so camp and so in line with this kind of story that he makes that villain iconic in that version of Robin Hood. But the villains in this, they work completely because the campiness, is goes, the campiness goes throughout the entire film and all the actors are going with it. And um, they're not making it sort of super camp, as in, you know, let's all overact in order to make it ridiculous. Alan Rickman's performance stood out because of the fact that he was like the only actor who was doing it that much. The rest of them were trying to play it straight as if it was a serious, serious film and it kind of made him stick out a bit and it worked. But um, the fact that everyone in this is playing it as if it was a proper fairy tale and that's exactly what this is. This is a fairy tale and if you're not prepared to go all out in a fairy tale and put on the costume for a fairy tale, then frankly, I'm afraid you failed as an actor because you're just letting your fear of people judging you in a costume override your ability to act. Because your, your job is to act as a character. And if the character requires you to wear tights, you should sh shut up and wear the tights. You know, if anyone's been doing Shakespeare, you'll know that men in Shakespeare wear tights because it's just something that happens. But anyway, I digress. But this film is iconic. I love it. The music in it is beautiful. It's held up as one of the, the greatest um, film scores of all time with the... Um, uh, I don't know who composed the music. I'm sorry I don't have much detail on, on uh, who actually wrote this, but um, the cast in this, if you don't know, consists of Errol Flynn playing Robin Hood, Olivia de Havilland playing Maid Marian, 
uh, Basil Rathbone playing uh, Guy of Gisborne, and uh, Claude Rains playing Prince John. Um, and it's an absolutely amazing film. It's, I, I can't praise it enough because it is, to me, it is the, the quintessential Robin Hood and it is, in my eyes, it is the perfect film. And um, I highly, highly recommend you go and see it. Um, if you can find it online, look it online. But if you can get the Blu-ray of it, um, yeah, I would highly recommend you get the Blu-ray of it because it is so worth seeing it in good quality. And um, it's fun to see all the little extra bits in it as well, like the uh, the costume tests that Basil Rathbone is doing. You know, he had, there's a there's a bit in in the extra features where he's testing different helmets out and uh, it's just very funny he's just sort of like putting helmet on standing there and then taking it off helmet on doing this stuff. but it just it just it's quite funny um but i just think this film has everything you could possibly want in a film it's got action it's got romance it's got um it's got a comedy it's got great comedy it's got great chemistry between the actors you know, uh, Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn have been in several films together and their chemistry is so uh, palpable. It's amazing that they never actually got together as a couple, but um, knowing anyone who knows their history about Errol Flynn knows that Errol Flynn was not exactly the best guy. Um, he was a bit egotistical and a bit sort of, uh, he believed himself to be Robin Hood almost and he sort of, he was a bit of an alcoholic as well and he would behave badly on set and things like that so um he's not the best actor but he is the best robin hood um in my eyes and he, i just can't fault him i mean there are uh, one of my favorite scenes in it was uh, is the fact is the archery scene because it's just it shows the skill level of the the people who use the arch. And apparently, the uh, the guy who is competing with Robin um, next to him in the in the tournament um, is actually the guy who does the arrows uh, in the entire film. He he does all the arrow sh shooting for the stunts, and um, he is apparently said he. he I don't know whether he's still alive or whether he's died, but he's apparently um, so iconic. Um, you know, he was considered the actual Robin Hood um, of archery because his his precision with the bow was so was pin pinpoint accurate. And um, there's I um, there is footage of him uh, demonstrating his skill with the bow. And um, what's amazing about the stunts in this film is the fact that they were shot they were actual arrows being shot into people so there's um you know when people are recoiling they're actually recoiling with actual impact because the arrows that are hitting them are real arrows <laughs> so he would uh, they would have like a, a a block put in inside their costume uh, a protective block and this guy was so accurate he could hit them perfectly dead center so that there was no risk of them actually being shot and uh, but he actually shot them with real arrows and so they're all recoiling with actual like from the actual impact of uh, the arrow but it's uh, it's it's impressive um workmanship in there and it's uh i i just can't praise this film enough it's it's to me it's 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 the most beautiful film ever and um i don't watch it as often as i should really because um well you don't want to overindulge in something that's so good you know if you eat too many sweets for example you become you get a bit sick of it um sort of situation and i don't want to overindulge in watching this i watch it on the odd occasion when i'm feeling low or when i want to have a little fun adventure time it's um it's it's one of my favorite films and I, I highly highly recommend if you want to see a good robin hood film pick this up and uh 
you can't really go wrong with it. The, the dialogue can be a little bit cheesy in it, but if you're willing to, um, uh, to go with it and allow for the campy cheesiness of it, you will have a great time. It's, it's a lot of fun. The dialogue is great. The actors are great. Like I said, I, uh, I'm going around in circles right now, but, um, yeah, definitely a highly recommended film for you to watch. And so if you ever get a chance to find out, uh, find a, a copy of this, definitely, definitely, uh, go watch it because it is, uh, it's iconic. And uh, it'll put every other Robin Hood film to shame. Um, mind you, uh, I give uh, credit to Kerry Elvis as well because he was willing to put the tights on as well, and his Robin Hood is just equally as good as this. So, anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.